In this lecture, we are going to study belt drives. What are the belt drives? In the belt drive, power is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft with the help of pulley and belt. So, belts are used to transmit power between two parallel shafts by means of friction using pulleys. Now, what are the parts of belt drive? On it has driving pulley, driven pulley and the belt. Belt is enveloped onto the pulleys and power is transmitted from driving pulley to driven pulley because of frictional grip between the belt and pulley surface. So as friction is used to transmit power, belt drive comes under the frictional drive. Another type of drive is the positive drive wherein there is interlinking between the two mating surfaces, two mating elements like a gear drive or chain drive. Now amount of power transmitted between transmitted depends upon following factors. First is the velocity of the belt and tension under which belts are placed on the pulleys, arc of contact, material of the belt used and atmospheric conditions. Selection of belt drive, speed of on what factors, what are the factors that we have to consider while selecting a belt drive. First factor that we have to consider is the speed of driving and driven shaft. What is the speed? What speed you have to achieve? Whether it is a reduction ratio or what? What kind of velocity ratio is there? Then power is to be transmitted. How much is the power to be transmitted? Center distance between the shafts. Speed reduction ratio. Then space available and service conditions. All these factors you have to consider while selecting a proper belt drive. There are different types of belt drives. First is a flat belt, V belt, rope, and rope drive, and timing belt. Now, first three are depending upon their cross sectional area. So, flat belt is a is of flat belt. You can see here, flat belt is having a rectangular cross section. Here, width of the belt is substantially higher higher compared to its thickness and they are used where moderate amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another when two pulleys are not more than 8 meters 8 meter apart now in the second belt we have a in the second case we have a v belt wherein the cross section is a trapezium trapezium cross section trapezoidal cross section and they are used to they are used these belts are used where great amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another and when two pulleys are near to each other. Flat belts are used for a distance up to 8 meters and V belts are used for a distance of a distance up to uh, 3 meters. Now what are the basic differences between flat belt and V belt? Now this is a flat surface in flat, flat belt drive. Surface is a flat surface. So there can be more chances of slip and here a groove is generated. This is a groove pulley. Groove is generated so that a belt is placed in a groove, so slip will be less. But here friction will be more, and there be, uh, friction will be more, and because of that efficiency may go down. Efficiency may go down. Efficiency will be less only. Another right kind of drive is a rope drive, wherein cross section is circular, and they use where great amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another when two shafts two pulleys are more than eight, meet, eight meters apart. These are used for eight meters apart. Another drive is a timing belt drive. Timing belts have teeth across its inner, inner circumference. The drive is transmitted by means of teeth instead of friction. Here, instead of friction, they are, they are using that teeth for transmitting the power from pulley to the belt. Hence, uh, as we are using the, that uh, tooth for power transmission, then there is there will be a no slip. Now these are the differences between flat belt and V belt. You can stop and read all the differences between flat belt and V belt. Important points I have covered. Now, here for flat belt, as you can see here, 
surface is the raised surface at the center that is home like structure or a convex structure this kind of pulleys are called as crown pulleys they are used for a flat belt drive they are used for flat belt drive that is done to avoid the slipping so that because of that hump or a convex shape a belt will be placed at the center of the pulley in the second case that is v belt drive we have the groove pulleys in a groove that belt is mounted so this is a kind of v belt and this is a kind of flat belt in a road drives are widely used where large amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another over a considerable distance this is how the timing belt is types of drives it is classified in open belt cross belt open belt either we will see uh, one by one cross belt drives are used when two shafts are parallel and they are rotating in the same direction so in the uh, in the first slide the, there is one term that is called as sorry in the second slide there is one term called as arc of contact so this is called as arc of contact this is called as arc of contact so obviously power transmission will depend upon the power arc of contact the contact belt makes with the pulley so power transmission will depend upon that so open belt drive are used where two shafts are parallel two shafts are parallel and rotating in the same direction now this is a driver pulley and this is a driven pulley so for this driver pulley as it starts rotating let's say it is rotating in a clockwise direction so it is rotating in a clockwise direction it will first pull this belt at the bottom and we deliver it to the upside right so that is why tension in the lower side will be more than the tension in the upper side so that is why this is called as a tight side of the belt and this is called as a slack side of the belt another type is a cross belt drive wherein two shafts are rotating in the different direction and where amount of power is to be transmitted more so here as this is connected this way so that is why arc of contact will be more arc of contact is more and as the arc of contact is more so great amount of power can be transferred but here the problem is as these belts are crossing here so they will be a rubbing action between these two belts and it will lead to the wear of the belts in due course of time so here which is a tight side and which is a slack side so as this this is a driver shaft so driver pulley so it is rotating in this direction so it will pull this belt in this direction so this will become a tight side and will deliver it to the upside like this so this will become a slack side of the belt now another is a open belt drive with idler pulley so here we have a driving pulley and driven pulley in due course of time that tension in the belt may go down so in order to increase the tension in the belt we are using idler pulley which is also called as a jockey pulley idler pulley or jockey pulley it is also shown here you can see again to guide the belt that is one more function of idler pulley or a jockey pulley now multiple belt drive we have one driving pulley and with the help of that rpm of that driving pulley you want to rotate number of shafts so shaft 1 shaft 2 shaft 3 so here this with the help of idler pulleys jockey pulleys we are guiding the belt in order to rotate the num different number of uh, number of shafts number of shafts we can rotate so if that is the case that is called as multiple belt drive quarter turn belt drive what is this when two shafts are perpendicular to each other you can use quarter turn belt drive this is the case of transistor now in this case the width will be large in order to prevent belt from leaving the pulley as it is in a crossed uh, placed in a cross manner next is called as a compound it is used compound belt drive it is used when power transmitted from one shaft to another shaft with number of intermediate pulley here we have intermediate pulley this is a driving pulley and this is a driven pulley this is a final driven pulley right so such arrangement is called as compound belt drive next is cone pulley drive in a cone pulley drive used for changing the speed of 
driving shaft while the driving shaft runs at the constant speed so this is to this is this arrangement is provided this arrangement is provided to achieve the uh, different velocity ratios fast and loose loose fully drive so in this driving shaft will rotate and if you want to stop driven shaft if you want to stop driven shaft you can shift this belt from fast pulley to the loose pulley fast pulley is keyed it is keyed means key is used between shaft and fast pulley so that there will be no relative motion but in a loose pulley there is no key so there is a relative motion between this and this so as there is a relative motion between this loose pulley and shaft so there will be no power transmission so you don't when you don't want to rotate driven shaft you have to shift by using this shifting for belt to the loose pulley that's it thank you